Cunningham. Cunningham up next from Rami Lee trains over at my gym. Um, the gym that I train at, shall I say. Going up against Adrian Eloriega. Look at this over here, though. Looks like we got something special. Oh, uh -huh, we got a special guest announcer coming into the ring. Justin Cordero. Okay. Very brave young man. What? And he's a WKA champion as well. Get out of here. I mean, uh, I'm sorry, I misspoke. Uh, USMTO champion. Wow. Way to go, pal. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have a special treat for you right now. For our next contest, it will be a junior fight. So we figured, why not bring a junior in to announce this fight? Please help me and welcome the youngest MC in the fight game. Give it up for his first time in the ring, the debut of Justin Cordero. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. How is everyone tonight? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Are you ready for three rounds of Muay Thai action? And now, the teen super fight of the evening. Introducing first, out of the blue corner, coming all the way from Florida, out of Payak Muay Thai, Adrian Elorega! Adrian making his way into the ring. Next up, making his way into the ring, Paul Cunningham. With a record of three wins and two defeats, fighting out of Rami Elite. Should be an interesting fight. Paul's coming back from, uh, from a win at uh, WKA, where he won the TKO in the first round. Who? Paul. Wow. Good job, Paul. Way to go. Out of the red corner, coming all the way from Philadelphia, out of Rami Elite, Paul Cunningham! And here he comes, Mr. Paul Cunningham from Rami Elite. This is gonna be a banger, ladies and gentlemen. Paul Cunningham just won his last fight via TKO in the first. And he said he's looking to knock, to end this one in the first as well. Wow, bold words. Bold words, especially when you consider Adrian is three and oh, this is not a kid to be trifled with lightning. I he, hear you. He knows what he's doing in there. Hey, I guess we're about to find out. In his corner, he has Marwan. The Egyptian yeah. magician. The Egyptian magician. He also goes by the pizza man down South Street. <laughs> uh. <laughs> He's going to kill you, man. <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> it's my neighbor, guys. It's all right. He's my neighbor. He is a, a few weight classes up from <laughs> what I'm used to seeing him. So pizza man yeah. makes sense. Yeah. All right, 
these kids look like they mean business. This fighter is at the age of 15, standing five foot seven, holds an official record, three wins, zero losses, official weight, 135 pounds, hailing from Tampa, Florida, representing Payak Muay Thai, Adrian Elorega. opponent in the red corner this fighter is at the age of 16 standing five foot eight holds an official record three wins two losses official weight 132 pounds hailing from Philadelphia Pennsylvania representing Romeo Leeds Paul Cunningham Oh, that that was uh, that was great. This kid has a beautiful. bright future, MC. Yeah. If he's already calling fights like that, it's a very nice voice. He, he was he, it's like he was made for this yeah. job. Yeah, I hear you. Let's go. Yeah, Round one on the job. way. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is fight number four in the 130-pound weight class. Paul starts it off with a body kick right away. Let's see what they're able to do here. He switches oh, stance. I like that. By, well, in that moment, it was perfect timing. A lot of knees from Paul in the clinch. They're fighting in the clinch very, very aggressively. And, and when I was upstairs before the show started, I was talking to Paul. That that was his game plan. He he said he's been working on the clinch and he wants to use it. Okay. All right. Well, let's see what he's able to do here. Oh. Nice kick to the face there from uh, Adrian. Yeah, Adrian's doing a good job. After that first exchange in the clinch, he's doing a good job of staying outside. Not letting Man, I'm really surprised these guys have uh, as little fights as they do. They look really good. These young kids learn fast. Yeah, extremely fast. Nice job by Adrian. I know uh, Paul wanted to work the clinch, but Adrian did a good job keeping him in the corner right there. They're both fighting pretty technical so far. Pretty decently. Oh, big step knee from Ooh, Paul. Another hurt. knee and another he's knee. He's hurt. He's hurt. And, and another oh. knee. Oh, my God. Paul <laughs> puts him down. Five. Paul Cunningham puts him down on the ground. Pops back up. What a big knee. Seconds. He didn't like those, though. He, he did not like it. After, after, the, after the first one laying it clean, I saw his arm. Paul jump. smelling blood. Paul smelling blood. Can he do it? He called it in the first round. Can he deliver that? I, I, th I think he might be onto something. I think he, he was telling the truth. Oh! Wee -wee. Paul's that putting it on he's him. Hurt. He's the ref hurt. comes in, breaks oh, it. I don't know why. Stop, oh, man. big, big oh. hands coming oh, in from Paul God. right now. Paul's looking to put him away in the first. And there goes the first round. I, wow. Wow. I will say. Wow. If it wasn't for Romulo stepping in um, in those last few seconds. I, I, I think it very well would have been over. Or at least at least another eight count. I'm starting to think uh, Mr. Romulo had a side bet going on. No, I'm just joking, Chris. Don't, <laughs> don't beat me up. It's just, it's just a joke. No, no. <laughs> I don't want to get backlash for that. Yeah. They, <laughs> <laughs> and you know I'm the first one to hit you with the backlash. <laughs> no, no. Chris has been around for a long time. I trust his judgment. Maybe he saw something that we didn't That's see. That's very that possible. Needed to be stopped. But look, Marwan right there in the corner telling Marwan's Paul. Telling him I, now, stick to okay, he's knees. telling him to stick with the knees. There you go. Intelligent Marwan. Now, if you're in, uh, if you're in uh, Adrian's corner, what are you telling him to do here? Long guard, stay outside. When he comes in, 
step to the side, maybe a check hook, but don't allow him to engage with those clinch knees. Okay. Those were devastating clinch knees. They, were, they hurt to watch. I would make sure they light on my feet so I could keep it outside. When he was outside, he was able to he land some all right. shots. All right, let's see what happens. Round number two underway here. See, th this is the problem sometimes. I see a lot of fighters switching stances in the middle of the fight. You're always better in one stance than the other. I hear you. Kick, good timing right oh. there. Stay outside. Paul injury. looking for those knees again. There's yeah, that step, he, and he, he just, got, just got what he wanted. Let's see if he can take advantage. Let's see. And there's the knees coming Put in by Paul. In corner. Good control. Way to stay calm. You see, you see the check hook that Paul doing see. as Adrian. That's what he needs to keep doing. That's what I would like to see Adrian do every time Paul comes in okay. for the clinch. Look, there yeah. we go. Paul caught him again. Big step knee. Wow, wow, He's hurt. wow. He's hurt. It's about to be over. He's hurt. Chris He's hurt. Romulo watching very, very carefully Rom here. I think it's pronounced Romulo. Chris Romulo. Romulo? Yes. Wow. I've been saying it wrong for the past eight years. <laughs> Jeez. Or maybe I'm wrong. One, <laughs> one of us is wrong. Ah, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Another knockdown, the second knockdown of the fight. Going to the, Adrian's body is compromised. Let's see. If Paul could keep going Let's to, see. Those, to that I don't think he's not people. showing that he wants to fight. No, and ladies over. and gentlemen, it is over. Paul Cunningham now advances to four wins with two defeats. Congratulations to Mr. Paul Cunningham. And his second, this is the first TK of the night and his second in a row. Wow. He's got some power, man. He told me the first round, but second round is... I'll take it. Hey, I'll take it too. He I'll take it all day. A, he predicted a knockout, and that's what he got. Great job. I think if uh, if I'm Adrian, I go back to the drawing board here, and um, I start working on my clinch a lot. I uh, more Adrian showed a lot of good technique. He just I, don't I know. think he showed great technique on the outside. I just think he got in trouble when he got caught in the clinch. As soon as, uh, as soon as he caught one of those bombs, his body was compromised. I don't know if he had a tough weight cut or he just been skipping his ab workouts. But um, listen, man, you take a knee to the stomach. That's uh, that's no joke. That's painful. It, it, it is very painful. If you get hit, if you get hit in the right spot, that'll do it to you. And Muay Thai athletes, we gotta train our bodies to be conditioned to take that, though. That's a fact. So, anyway. Uh, amazing job, but maybe just Paul is just on another level. Could be a freak of nature. But I love to see when uh, when uh, fighters' predictions come true. Wow, what an amazing fight! First knockout from the juniors. Let's go. Yeah. While we're waiting for the announcements, let's give a quick shout out to our sponsors, Sacha Root and Resilient Fightwear. If you're right. interested in the shorts and gloves, they're selling it at the Resilient booth. Make sure to take a look. I already got my pairs. Okay. They're priced fairly good. At too. one minute and 29 seconds into the second round, your winner from the red corner by TKO. Paul Cunningham. <laughs> Great sign of respect from both of the fighters lifting each other. And one more time, give it up for his debut as an MC in combat sports, Justin Cordero! Justin looking sharp, can't wait to see him call the rest of the